I wanted to see how the magnet helix is used to measure how well a sax seals. Um, there's really only two tools needed. One is the magnet helix. Uh, I turn it on, it goes to eight, and then it's calibrated so that both are set at eight. Um, if I were to cover it, you can zoom in here. If I cover it completely, you'll see it quickly drops all the way down to zero. I mean, there's no leaks at all. Um, clarinets and oboes, we typically want less than one. Flutes, we want three to four. And saxophones, uh, we're basically mostly interested in getting the needle to move significantly. Uh, the other tool I use is a balloon. Cut the top off. These are really great because it holds a perfect seal onto the bell regardless of how round the bell is. Switch that over and now I know there's no air coming out of there at all. Make sure this gets a good seal. One thing to do to make sure we're not dealing with leaks in the actual rubber itself is just check the neck itself. There's no reason the neck should be more than zero. That of course drops down to zero. And now I'm going to put it in. I don't want to over tighten, just tighten that a little. Now you want to get close to the magnet helix for me. And then all I do is close the finger low B flat which closes all the pads. And then make sure that needle drops. That's reading about a 7.2. This is which is pretty good. This is on uh, precision pads out in Nogales, Arizona. And that's it.